Good morning, Roughnecks. How is everybody today? All right. I stumbled upon this this morning, and I don't know how I didn't notice it yesterday, but it doesn't really matter, does it? Anyway, everyone knows that Christopher Ruff, Direct D, who is a multiple-time violent convicted repeat offender, has gone on the run because he thinks he knows about the law just because it has kicked his ass his entire life. And this takes him to wherever he's in, I believe, Tempe, Arizona, hiding from the cops, trying to look like he's in his damn Mortal Kombat cosplay bullshit. And he's in a Bass Pro Shop, and he's mad because they're requiring ID before they sell him a crossbow. Now, I don't know why he wants a weapon. He has no business with one. He can't say it's for defense because the only people that's hunting him are the police who are legally allowed to do so and who have a legal obligation to do so. And that's where we'll start off at. And I hope everybody enjoys. And we will be covering the city until he's in cuffs. I got a question for you. Is one of these guys a manager? Uh, you might be able to get it. I want to be nice to fill this out. Walmart didn't have to fill it out. Just a small ball. Yeah, that's compliance. It's, it's, it's everything is what? The difference between Walmart and Dot Pro, what we have to do is if someone is going to get a weapon, which would be like black powder, bows, crossbows, you name it, where it doesn't require a background check, we have to fill out these cases in the court. And if, if there is a felony uh, history or criminal history, then there's no setup. So this is a black powder car. Right? Yeah, it's going to be... It doesn't say anything about it. It doesn't say anything. It's a tough metal sign. It's just getting the action part and do with it. Okay. But it doesn't say anything about the ball. Correct. But it doesn't say it's going to be history. There? Yeah. You're the manager here? No. Well, what's your position? Up there. All right, guys. Well, he's already going to a Karen moment because he's wanting to speak to the manager because they're not acquiescing and kissing his ass. Now, keep in mind, a black powder firearm technically is not illegal for him to possess or purchase, uh, even federally. But they're wanting, they're wanting ID, which they can record who buys what when it comes to weapons. Don't think they can't. They can. And no, it's not any law that's requiring them to do so. It's their policies of their corporation because they, for insurance purposes, have a probably very, very pricey uh, liability umbrella. And that's going to require in order for them to keep that policy with their carrier, their provider is going to cause it's going to force them or not force them, but it's going to have them uh, following certain protocols and policies when it comes to. I don't know, a violent felon wanting to buy a silent, deadly projectile bolt throwing weapon or a black powder weapon, which regardless of whether it's a center fire weapon or not, it still expels a projectile through explosion. And he doesn't like that. So he's going to bitch and cry because he's a coward. Yeah. Where's the manager at? He's downstairs. He's got a customer too. Oh, he's got a customer too. You can ask uh, for James. You want to ask him to come up here? Or you want to park my child down to him? Oh, okay, cool. Go back. All right. This is what he looks like. Now, I don't know if he's hiding his face because he knows that he's a felon or if he's wearing that little, his little fucking Mortal Kombat. Saturday night cosplay thing with the wife. Uh, but I think he's trying to cover up the tramp stamp on his throat because he knows that that readily identifies him as Christopher Ruff. And he knows that there is a, few, a warrant for his arrest issued because he decided to abscond the jurisdiction in which he was obligated to remain in and appear at all court uh, required appearances. So, yeah. Um, uh, and now he's in there, he's wanting to buy weapons. Uh, I mean, I have to automatically go to the worst possible 
situation. Dumb ways to die. That's what's going to happen if he decides he wants to go take on the police. Look, man, I know that you're in Tempe and you probably don't have your normal dealer anymore uh, because you're running from the cops because you're a coward. But, dude, seriously, can you please like lay off the basalts and not do those and then go try and buy a dangerous weapon so you can fight it out with the police? Uh-oh, he found something he didn't like. So, so Solid is playing a game here and trying to tell me I need to fill this out to buy a crossbow. So that's dis discriminatory, no? Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. How is it again they're discriminating against you? I forgot. What is it? Are they what discriminating against you because what? You're a Caucasian male? What? Your age? Your sexual orientation in or out of jail? I mean, I don't I don't get how they're discriminating against you. Oh, maybe they just don't like the press because you're press, right? I can't believe I got that sarcastic question out of my mouth with a straight face. Or, or maybe I know what I know what it is, Chrissy. I know they're discriminating against Mortal Kombat cosplay guys. Okay, sorry. I'm sorry we interrupted your cosplay. Go ahead. It doesn't. I think they filed a lawsuit, or somebody tried filing a lawsuit against us. Some dude filed a crossbow, and he had a felony. He ended up shooting somebody with the crossbow. This, I mean, so that goes back to the past pro. So they're double checking if we can do those. Can we do it with black powder? If that was a law or something that Bass Pro had to be beholden to, then every store in Arizona that sold crossbows would have to have people throw this out. Okay, again, you seem to have a different separating, you know, reality from your fantasy fucking bullshit YouTube world. But there, you, you keep confusing... See, not only is there another policy that they have, they have the right to refuse service to you. They don't have to sell you a damn thing. You don't have a right to go in there and purchase weapons. You don't. Nowhere in the Second Amendment does it mention crossbows for violent felons. Sorry, swing and a miss strike too. I didn't fill this out a week ago at Walmart. What do you say? Then every store in Arizona that sold crossbows would have to have people fill this out. I didn't fill this out a week ago at Walmart. Okay, Walmart as or Mecca for you white trash idiots is not the Bass Pro Shop. But keep going, you're doing great. That's not, I mean, then that would be a policy, and then it would have to be clearly listed right there. You can't just whimsically place the form in front of me and say, Yes, they can. If you want to buy a boat, you got to fill this out because you got tattoos and we're discriminating. Discriminate. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points and may God have mercy on your soul. Dude, just because you do look like a felon with all your jailhouse ink and bullshit, and I don't have anything against ink, I have ink, but my tats are patriotic and earned. Yours or is because your mama sent you one too many honey buns in prison. But you don't have a right to anything that you're trying to buy there. You have no constitutional right to buy a knife. You don't have a constitutional right to buy anything in there. 
and because they don't like their tattoos, yeah, you you don't no, you don't have any uh, civil rights act protection for that for civil uh, for civil recourse. You don't try again. Swing and a miss, strike three. As this, I mean, this is some crazy crackhead shit right here. Yes, yes, you are. I believe you are a crazy crackhead. Very good. Okay, well, he's going to know exactly who I am. A multiple-time felon or a high school dropout who is hopelessly addicted to stimulants, who wants to do violence upon police because they're all better and braver men than you are. Nobody gives a shit who you are. We really don't. We just want you in jail because we want the communities in Arizona to be able to sleep safer at night knowing that you're not going to go out and take away their father, their mother, their child, their brother, their sister. All because little Chrissy has a temper tantrum and he got used to his bullshit YouTube character. Because we all know that you're a coward. Because uh, it doesn't say bow or crossbow in here. It says firearm. Black powder firearm. That's it. Black powder firearm. A crossbow in the federal regulations is not considered a firearm. You're absolutely right, which means they don't have to sell it to you. You don't have a right to buy a crossbow at the Bass Pro Shop. Not in the state of Arizona or federally. I mean, I literally have a YouTube channel running and operating in Arizona that discusses federal and Arizona state laws. So this is going to be interesting. Bass Pro denied me to buy a crossbow, but Walmart let me. That's spelled D I L L I G A M Billy Gap, and it means Do I look like I give a fuck, Billy Gap? Again, we've seen your YouTube channel, and the only person who possibly butchers the interpretation of federal or state law worse than you is Chalita Decastrated. That would be a policy then, and it would have to be clearly listed in your policies under UCC. Do you know what UCC codes are? Universal Commercial Codes. I mean, you guys have to operate under that. It has to be clearly listed. But that's not a that's not a law, is it? It's a code. Get on here. It's not. That means you're being discriminatory, which is against federal regulations and the law. You realize that? Criminal, civil, what? That's what you guys are all participating in right now by putting this in front of me. Assuming you, everybody that comes in here and buys a bow, did you, you give them one of these papers? Because I watched two people buy a bow that didn't get one of these. Yeah, but they are they a violent felon who's running from the law? Coming in there dressed like fucking Mortal Kombat? Because you're trying to hide your face and your damn neck ink so the cops don't recognize you? Because you got to know that since they sell firearms there, police officers in the area are probably going to shop there. And you don't think they know who you are? When you're a violent multiple time, repeat, lifetime offender who is literally on the run from a damn fugitive warrant, that tends to get around. And you don't think they know who you are? So just going in there, period, was a dumb on your, on your part. You're an idiot, Chris. You're so boring. Two bows a day? That's awesome. I, <laughs> we never sell both. <laughs> not a crossbow, but it's the same thing. No, it's not. Right. No, it's not. It's not even close. I fired damn near every single type of weapon on this planet. And no, you cannot. It is not the same thing. You're a moron. Get off the speed. It's killing your brain what's left of it. And you do not weigh 204 pounds, you emaciated little bastard. You weigh like 104. <laughs> you think they would have a crack paperwork for it if that's what they were doing? Instead of saying no. Does it say crossbow anywhere on there, too? No. no this, is a, this is all the security questions they ask you in a, in a background check. Because a child, a 16 year old, can come in here with adult permission to buy a crossbow. No, well, they can go in there, but the adult has to buy the crossbow. You apparently don't see the distinction because, well, 
you never had a daddy to take you into and buy a crossbow. But that's not your fault. It's your crack whore mothers. Keep going. You don't give this to a minor with adult permission that comes in to buy one. I mean, you really you're absolutely right. They give it to the adult. Why don't you start being an adult instead of being a deadbeat dad? Realize how ridiculous this looks right now? Super discriminatory. You see, it? again, discrimination in what way? You have to provide a very, very specific reason to prove your case that you were discriminated against. How were you discriminated against? And in order for you to be discriminated against, you have to fall into a very, 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 very narrow and specific category. And you don't. A couple tattoos and my face covered, and now you hit me with shit to make sure I'm not a felon. I absolutely am a felon, but I'm allowed to buy a crossbow. That's the mistake you guys make it right now. They're not making a mistake. The mistake you're making is thinking you have a right to that crossbow. They don't have to sell you shit. Keep going. You're doing great. Walmart just sold me one, and you guys are doing it on a basis that's not listed in here under store policies. It's not on the internet. Big mistake. That's called discrimination. Again, in what way? You have not spe specified how you're being discriminated against. Because I got bad news for you. Tattoos and convicted felons is not a protected category to be constitutionally not discriminated against. I don't think you understand how many phone calls the store is going to get because of this. Okay, threaten the flood call. That's, dude, no, that's extortion, you fucking idiot. Yeah, maybe a lawsuit too, dude. Dude, what, 1984 lawsuit? So you might want to go talk to your bosses, maybe it's not call. My problem. It's not my problem. That's me. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, Cosmo. Yeah. How you doing? You the manager? Oh, yeah, yes, sir. So why am I giving being given this paper on a discriminatory basis? This is for firearms. This, uh, isn't, let's, a, this let's, isn't a policy. Let's start over. So we're, we're going to start from the very beginning. So there is just not discriminatory. So this is just policy for our store, Bass Pro. It's called liability. Okay. And yes, you are a huge liability. For retail sales of black powder <laughs> firearms. Right. Right? That's where I'm going to lead into my second point. Where's the other paper for the second point? That's where I'm going to lead in my second point. Okay. If you let me kind of explain what's going to happen. Because I'm on your side. Go ahead. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So there's just confusion and mix up of information that was told, information that was passed down versus actually what's Arizona state law. Arizona state law, you don't have to do any paperwork. I know. Yep. You don't have to do any paperwork. You don't have to do any of this. Technically, if you want, you can buy a crossbow and send it to your home. Right. If you want From to. From Amazon. Pretty much. If you wanted to, you could do what I do and buy a black powder firearm for 30 bucks in an auction and ship it to your home. I don't want to buy a black powder firearm. But you, Is that because you're too stupid to load one? I understand, mm -hmm. understand the point I'm making. I do. Arizona state law. There's a mix-up that you're confusing that uh, was discriminatory. There's just mix-up from what we have received down from people above us versus what Arizona state law is. While the people that received and gave this information, they're not in this state. Every state has different laws. We convene, we talk. It's not Arizona state law. If you want to buy a Costco, I only need to buy a Costco. We, so why was I giving it? That's what I want to understand here. It's fine if there was a mistake. So, but when you brought it over, you were a little shaky. So you were nervous about handing me this paper for a reason. So why was that? Who told you to give me this paperwork? I did. Why? Because, because that was passed down. So that, that's do you there's everybody that comes in for a pass down? Yeah. Oh my God, who the hell cares? And Black Dog. Right. So that, it's not the same Let thing. Let me finish, brother. So that's what, there's, that's there's, to there's managers, there's different managers, there's compliance, there's the government. There's way too many unions. You make too many chiefs, not enough unions. That's what's happening here. They, the, the end result is that you're getting a crossbow. Okay. So I'm probably not going to buy one because of the way I was made to feel today, but. I Made to feel what? Like the fucking criminal that you are, Christopher? I mean, seriously? You are a criminal. That is not protected from discrimination. Sorry, your tattoos are not covered under the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Them wanting to have their ass covered when you go out and do something stupid with a dangerous weapon? Yeah. I mean, I'm going to agree with them. I mean, I I don't want to see anybody's con anybody's civil liberties or constitutional rights tr trampled on. I don't want to see that. But yours aren't being. You're a criminal. You're a violent felon. I wouldn't sell you a damn weapon either. 
especially when you come out looking like you're going to go live out your Mortal Kombat fantasies. I want you to understand something, that the federal government doesn't even designate a crossbow as a weapon. I agree with you. It is a weapon. It is very much a weapon. It's not a firearm, but it's a weapon. Make no mistake, the entire purpose and design of that is to kill things, to unalive things. Make no mistake, if you knew what you were talking about, I wouldn't be here and having this video. But you don't, so here we sit, nonetheless. But yes, a crossbow, a, a traditional bow, a compound bow, it, 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 a recurve bow, it does not matter. They are weapons. What they are not are firearms. You don't have a constitutional right to one, actually, because it's not a firearm. Therefore, it wouldn't be covered under the Second Amendment. We understand that. There's so, compliance and pass code that we have to follow. So, so remember how I was talking about pass code and That's a policy. Correct. But yes. this was handed down from someone above us. Yes, and as a policy, and the law says they can refuse the right to serve you shit. Sorry. It's handed down from someone above us saying, hey, this is need to be done for this type of transactions. However, that person's not in Arizona. Arizona State Law says completely different. So, like, so crossbow We do. Yeah, because this seems like something that you might have run into last week. Like, this, do, you, do people just fill this out blindly and just do it? Yes. What the fuck? So, like I said, like he said, a lot of teams. Uh, that's not cool. This is a lot of collection of information right now. I agree. Like with that. Like, well, maybe if you, your record wasn't such dog shit, maybe you wouldn't care so much about it, your information being collected. Is that why you're hiding your face right now? Agree. Okay. So, I'm going to do a story about this. My YouTube channel is Direct D. I mean, you guys can look me up right now. I'm not suing anybody, dude. Uh, I just throw shit out to get people to react emotionally, and that's exactly what you did. Oh, snap. Did you just admit that all of your channel, all of your rhetoric, all of your bullshit is just that bullshit? Let's listen to that again. He had just said that he makes up shit to get an emotional response. Direct D. I mean, you guys can look me up right now. I'm not suing anybody, dude. Uh, I just throw shit out to get people to react emotionally, and that's exactly what you did. So, what's my YouTube channel, you guys? But I appreciate you alleviating the situation. I'm not going to complain on nobody or none of that. Um, but this is ridiculous. Don't ask somebody that wants to buy a knife to see this out. That's the same thing. Again, you're 100% right. Arizona is very uh, best way to check free. Um, I run a YouTube channel based on the laws in Arizona. Yeah, if you run a YouTube channel based on the laws, why aren't you on the run from the law? Check it out directly. How, Please, however, it out check me out. however, like you were just talking about, like I'm trying to explain, you have a lot of different people sticking their heads in trying to create policies where they don't really come with law. It's so very, it's very hard as a business to. It was actually very much mistakes. I understand. Yeah. I get the mix up, and I understand that. I get it. So, I apologize. Actually, you understand very little, Chrissy. I've never said the before, so. When I see Oh, no. She's got ink. I bet they're going to discriminate against her next. Those damn tyrants giving her a job that she can support her family with. Those sons of bitches. Yeah, so you didn't understand. I didn't understand. Yeah. It was a mix-up. I get it. So I'm, now you understand. I mean, if they want to willingly, that's one thing, but don't act like you're going to deny and that, that puts things in like a personal place. Like, what do you, why the fuck can I buy a Walmart sold you? Walmart is not the mass pro shop. We've covered this. So the only reason a store would enact policies to restrict sales of things would be to protect themselves from lawsuits against things that are established in the law, which means another store would have to follow it. It's a universal rule. So I can go control the store and buy the same object. You can only refuse it if it's not legal to sell it to me on a certain basis. No, they can refuse anybody they want to. If the damn guy selling the weapon, which is a dangerous, deadly weapon, by the way, gets a bad hit off you, which I can't imagine he why anybody would get a bad hit off of somebody that's got tramp stamps all over their throat and even in 110-degree heat are wearing long-sleeve 
t-shirts and damn half balaclavas running up their face covering their neck as well because are you ashamed of your prison ain't Chrissy? All right. I would get a bad hit off of you too. But then again, I have common sense. I wouldn't sell you shit either because everything about you screams violent, pred predatory felon. So the other thing to stand on that is, I'll tell you, I can't buy bullets. Right. So the other thing that we were talking about, when you talk about, about uh, something like a pistol, uh, that was perfectly legal pistol. Uh, but that was stopped, it's a pistol. Yeah, Arizona, Arizona, so. Arizona, so it's perfectly fine. So that's the policy. Okay. Yeah, well, I know. It is. I know. I know. Yeah. So that is. I'm familiar with grass profiles. I'm sure people with grass profiles make it better. I get it. I appreciate you guys being professional. All right, we're gonna end it there, everybody. Just because he doesn't do anything or say anything of any consequence, other than he's a being idiot. Hey, Direct D, if you see this, we heard back from Deputy Slope from Pinell County about your interview you want to do on him. He said, fuck yourself. Anyway, boys and girls, I hope everybody has a great day. I will see y'all in a little while. This is Wrangler, and I'm out of here. Mm -hmm.